holiday spirit is in the air at Wessico ISD. Bulletin boards and classrooms decorated for the season. As you walk through the doors of several elementary schools here in Wessico, you'll see lights, trees, and many familiar faces. Jolly old St. Nick was around every corner. Once Santa was taking a break from working on presents to skydive. Santa's reindeers weren't far behind. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen watched the hallways to make sure students were safe. The Grinch also made an appearance at several schools. One classroom decided to turn the Grinch's smile right side up. Teachers and principals at every school agree they decorate to bring holiday spirit into the classroom. We have a lot of tradition here at airport because we consider this to be our second home and for a lot of the kids, you know, a few don't decorate or, or set up. It's important that we uh, celebrate the holidays and um, you know, we want the boys and girls to walk into their campus and, and be proud of the campus and it really helps with learning and just the spirit of the season and, you know, it's all about sharing and caring and we want to instill those values in our Silva boys and girls. When the children come in here and they see the tree, it's like they're, whatever is happening outside of the school, if there's any problems or any issues, it's like their problems go away and you, all you see is smiles. And, and uh, it's nothing but positive and, and a joyful reaction from the students and the teachers too. Most of the decorations you'll see along the hallways all coincide with lessons being taught in the classroom. A lot of the teachers like to implement a lot of things that we can use around the classroom, things that we can use at home. Snowmen made out of clocks help students learn how to tell time. Math and science work was nicely displayed on Christmas decorated paper. Since I like your black hat, your carrot nose is orange, your, you are having fun, and your friends and Carlos. Students like Carlos Leal and Maggie Irislin practice their handwriting when writing letters to Frosty the Snowman and Santa Claus. Dear Santa, I have been a good little girl. I want a new toy and a diamond and a big TV in my room and a new bed. My dad wants a new Jeep and my family, my family follows rules too. Their friend Maggie. Other students put their decorating skills to work. We made a tree with blue lights and a blue star, and it looks pretty when it lights up. And why blue? Because it's a Dallas cowboy. Everyone in the district gets into the holiday spirit. Parent volunteers at Memorial Elementary tried something new this year. We made it out of paper, cardboard. We did the, the cone out of uh, cardboard and then we put the paper on. This Christmas tree is completely made out of paper. The brown trunk of the tree is a poster board stuffed with crumbled construction paper. Volunteers made cones out of green paper for the leaves. One volunteer cut out paper shaped ornaments to add a little sparkle. Working on this tree for about a day, volunteers say they're still not done gotta put the like a star on the top and we're thinking of putting like a garland around it so and some snow and a little present a staff member at airport elementary is bringing tradition from his home to the library jose luis garcia owns this village garcia said it took two helpers and more than three hours to complete Garcia started collecting pieces in 1993. 20 years later, Garcia owns over a thousand pieces. In the village, you'll find a train with a conductor, Wasico City Hall, and a Walmart. 
A group of first grade teachers made their way into the village and of course the commander himself, Mr. Garcia. The flashing lights and different colored pictures don't shine as bright as the Spirit Wesleyco ISD staff have for their students. My wish always for our Silva boys and girls is just peace and love and that they, we just immerse them in, in total love. Uh, we love our boys and girls and we do whatever we can uh, for them to be simply the best and we truly, truly work hard and we desire nothing but blessings for each one of them. I think it's good for the students uh, because sometimes maybe they don't have that opportunity at home. That they have a blissful day and that they have a, a very uh, joyful moment with their family and, and their loved ones and that they are safe and that they return back to us because I can't wait to see them again in January. <laughs> Decorating for Christmas has been a tradition at Wesleyco ISD campuses. It's a way to send students off to a well-deserved two-week break. Teachers say two weeks seems like a long time for students to be out of the classroom, but when they're around family and friends, students come back with positive attitudes and are ready to learn. For KWES, I'm Heather Arevalo.